Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to be rotisserieing steak with bacon in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. I'm going to wrap some filet mignon in bacon and get it on the rotisserie of the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite and cook it up on the rotisserie. So this is going to be an interesting one, and let's get started now. Okay, so what I have here to get this steak bacon wrapped in on the rotisserie, got myself some applewood smoked bacon here. I've got my filet mignon from Costco. Um, let me see if I can get an angle you can see well. And this is USDA choice. If you want a different grade, that's your choice. Um, but basically, it's about a pound and a half of filet mignon here. And we'll see if Lord well and I can get it all on the rotisserie, all the pieces on the rotisserie. But let me explain what I'm gonna do as far as preparation. I'm gonna get the steak out, I'm gonna cover it in olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I've got some uh, McCormick Grow Mates Montreal seasoning. Really like that for the beef and steak. So I'm gonna use that this time alone. After I get it all uh, oiled and seasoned, then I'm gonna take some bacon, wrap bacon around the edges of the filet mignon and you can after you wrap it you know if you want to wrap it tight and use toothpicks to hold the ends you can I'm just going to use some cooking twine to just wrap around to get it nice and tight and then I'm going to let it rest before I get it onto the rotisserie but I think wrapping it up good will you know, help hold it on the rotisserie really well and so I'm going to go ahead and start prepping things All right, so I've got four fillets wrapped in bacon, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the rotisserie. I'm gonna use the one with the skewers and kind of stick some of the skewers through them to be able to hold them steady on the rotisserie. All right, so I've got my steak on the rotisserie with the skewers. Now the skewers aren't all going through meat, but I'm just hoping that, you know, if any meat comes out at all, they'll help to kind of keep things in somewhat. Can't use the uh, just two spits. I've got four pieces of meat, so too much meat for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up my Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. And going to try and carefully get this onto the rotisserie in there. So just slide it on in. Got some meat kind of dangling on the bottom. I'm going to try and get that better corralled in. All right, so I've got my meat uh, pretty well locked in now. I'm gonna just stick it in there on the rotisserie. I'm gonna go ahead and lock my rotisserie bar in, please. All right, looks like it's holding up pretty good there. And I just wanna give you a quick look of how it looks in there while I close up the power air fryer. I'm going to hit the power button. I'm going to hit French fry, and that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to go up to 25 minutes and go ahead and let it run with that. And the rotisserie I need to hit as well to get that going. So it should uh, go ahead and start for us here. So there it is, it's running with the bacon on the rotisserie. The bacon is spinning. Spinning. So I'm gonna let it go, keep an eye on things. You know, it may go 25, may go 20, but uh, we'll let this go for a while and then I'll bring you on back and we'll see what, uh, you know, how things are doing. All right, it's done. I gave it the full 25 minutes and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test two pieces of these steaks here. Although I have four meat probes if I needed them. I'm just going to test two of them to see where their temperature's at. And I wanted to mention that the time that it took to get them prepped, they had sat out about 30 minutes just getting prepped. So they had already sat out enough time to get nice and room temp warm before I put them in here to cook. 
So I'm letting, uh, I'm testing it too on the most interior that had the most meat around them instead of getting, you know, the ones that had the more airflow probably on the edges, touching that hot metal. Those are probably hotter than the ones in the inside. So I'm just testing the two inside to see what they're at. And so far, the one in the middle on this side is reading like, uh, maybe it's not in good. It's reading like 98 or something like that. The one on the uh, on this side in the middle is reading like 113. Neither are done, and this has been 25 minutes. So things are cooking up pretty good in there, but nothing is done yet. So this was a good point just to check where things are at. I'm going to close it up. And I'm going to go ahead and hit power and going to hit the french fry. I'm going to give it another 20 minutes. Let it go another 20 minutes. And uh, then I'll bring you on back. I know it might hit well done, it may not. But uh, I don't mind a well done steak. I think the rotisserie will make it juicy. But if we get medium well, then that'll be nice. But, you know, I wouldn't mind if it went a little over. Although, I guess if I was trying to shoot for an actual target, I'd shoot for medium well. but. It's hard to uh, keep track of temp when you got food on a rotisserie, so going to do 20 more minutes to see if it gets nice and hot, and then I'll bring you back. All right, I let it go 15 more minutes, so it's gone 40 minutes total, 400 degrees on the rotisserie. I'm going to get in here and test some tips now, see how hot this meat is at this point. Testing two in the middle again. Got my meat probes in good. See how my temps move up for me. They're both moving on up. Doing pretty good. Moving at a pretty rapid clip. Alright, we'll probably hit 150, Lord willing, at least. Let's see where we get. One seems to stop at 131, the other one's at 139, 140. Let's make sure those meat probes are in meat well. These probes to work effectively have to be welling to the meat. So we got one at 146. We've got another that's at 141. So both our steaks are done. They are done after 40 minutes. Um, you know, I could go longer, but I don't think I'm gonna push it going longer or farther. One of them is getting ready to heat, hit medium well. So I'm gonna stop there. They're both done. You know, carryover can carry them a little further probably, but they're both, uh, you know, not overcooked. And that's 40 minutes at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out there now. I gotta use my hot gloves to get them out. All right, getting these out now. We're gonna hit that button over here to, there we go. So there's our finished filet mignon of the rotisserie. And just kind of set it there. Whoa, my oven's starting again. Got to uh, turn it off. So, all right. Now that's off, and there's our steak. It looks uh, pretty nice. All right, I'm going to take my steak and get it out of here. All right, here's our bacon wrap filet mignon. I'm just gonna cover it full, let it set for maybe 10 more minutes just to rest to reabsorb juices a little more. And then uh, we'll do some cutting, plating, and taste testing. Okay, it gave the meat about 15 minutes to rest. So I'll go ahead and reveal here. There's our completed filet mignons wrapped in their bacon. Just gonna cut this one here. cut open. I'm going to show you inside. You can see that uh, you know there's pink inside. There's it's cooked but you know it's not bloody. So that's a you know pretty near medium well. Pretty good job there. I'm going to go ahead and just get that piece there. That'll be my taste test piece right there. So I'm just going to get that on my plate here. 
And let me get the camera moved around and we'll do a taste test of this bacon wrap rotisserie filet mignon from the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. All right, our filet mignon, each was about six ounces each to make a pound and a half. So worked out good. Super tender, super tender. You can taste some of that bacon and seasoning. Great, perfect cook right there. So that's how it's done. You can find this and other great written recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. Anytime you want to come straight to this YouTube channel, use waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter at waveovenrecipes. There'll be pictures of this and other cooks at waveovenrecipes on Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.